Oh man, you can feel a little bit after three days of surfing. Let's check the conditions. Good. I just bought a water because here in these conditions with the temperatures and the salty water every 20 minutes I leave go to the beach and drink half a liter I'm very very thirsty all the old one already grabbed the sail I wanted to take the 7.2 if I don't like it we can switch around afterwards after some hours <laughs> after some hours <laughs> nee? motiviert, motiviert? <laughs> Wir sind jetzt zuerst gar nicht aufgefallen. Zu Norddeutsch. Gut, auf Englisch, richtig? Ja. Yeah. Okay. I'm here with Bertrand. Bertrand is running the station, right? Hi guys. Are you from Rodos or where are you from? Switzerland. Switzerland. Which city? Fribourg. Fribourg? Fribourg. I don't know that one. <laughs> I, I've it's a small been, city. Yeah, it's, it's small, right? I've been a few times to uh, to Switzerland, but only to uh, Winterthur yeah. and Zurich. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's far away. But okay, I'm over 25 years on the highland. My eyes are not working very well, so on the water I don't wear glasses, so I cannot see any person particularly, but everybody else is telling me when you're surfing, you're really, really good. You're extremely good. Thank you. <laughs> Is there something specific you're working on at this moment? Like a trick you want to learn, um, something you want to improve upon? In the way, I'm working on a, on a new move which is not really on the market now. Uh -huh. so show it into cheese roll. Cheese roll? Cheese roll. So it's a kind of loop and I show it. But in the winter thing you always have a lot of moves to work. Uh, every step you're doing you're learning something. Every, every fall you're learning something. Mm -hmm. Uh, every good and bad day are important on your experience. Mm. When you are finishing far away on the beach and walk all the way back, you understand also a lot of things. Yeah. You get angry, but you come back on uh, more power and more motivation. To yeah. Get. Yeah. I know that feeling. Yeah. It's like every minute on the board counts, right? Yeah. Yeah. And every mistake. And every mistake. I make a lot of mistakes. So but, that's good. But I can tell you one important thing. Don't fight against the wind. Use the wind. The wind is your friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The wind. Uh, most of the people are always fighting, fighting, especially the man. Yeah. The women are more understanding that they need to use the wind because they don't have the power to hold it. Mm -hmm. uh, so they use it more the technique. Yeah. The guys, the guys, you are usually practicing your mistake without hands. No. Change your mind and use the wind. Don't fight against the wind. Mm. I feel a little bit guilty now. <laughs> I feel it feels like you're describing me sometimes, not always, but sometimes I feel I get a little bit frustrated. But uh, in the end, so think about it. But when it works, it's so much fun, and you feel motivated again. Yeah, and so much easier. And so easier. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, what I really like about the station is you have a lot of boards, a lot of different sails. In the last few days I was switching around a lot. So I could try out different kind of equipment, different sizes, and it's really helping me, especially in these kind of conditions. Do you also offer classes or something like this? Yes, of course. Yeah, for beginners or already? A lot of classes. Okay, we have, of course, the beginners, which we're doing uh, 500 meters in the bay down. There is a wind shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's perfect to learn. The first 200 meters is very light wind, even when it's a strong wind. And then for the advanced lesson, we have a special package, which is a private clinic, which is a seven hours during your stay. Mm -hmm. So if you book this, uh, the teacher is going to coach you during all the week you're here. He's going to look at you when you're surfing by yourself. He's going to give you tips. He's going to be with you in the water. It's a continue, uh, a continue coaching, mm -hmm. which will make you really progress. We're having a very 
open bay, open sea, which giving you a lot of place to practice. Okay, that's so true. Even, even if you are busy, you always have your place. And the wind and the weather condition for wind something are amazing here mm. because we got a very constant wind. Yeah. Bertrand has got a really amazing drone and he's shooting 4K 60 frames per second footage. And he was shooting this footage of my father a few days ago in the afternoon and it looks really good. And I want to do the same. And maybe we're lucky today. So you heard it. I can recommend this place. New day, lucky day. Apparently, although it doesn't look like a lot of wind, there's supposed to be uh, pretty intense gushes out there. So instead of 7.2, I picked 5.8. We'll see if this works. Huh. That doesn't really work at all yet. I don't. I don't feel any gush. But at least I got water in my ear. Great. a big sail and a big board. 7.2 square meters, a speedster from Neil Pride, a Fnatic Gecko with 133 liters. They told me it's not as lightweight as the rocket, but it's the closest alternative.
I'm done. The sail is too big now. And I want to have a break and save some energy for the drone footage in the afternoon. But I want to tell you something. I love this sail. I love it so much. I really love it. It's my favorite sail. So, Prost. Lecker. Well, I'm a bit nervous. There we go. I'm about to get some drone footage and I'm very nervous that I hopefully don't do many mistakes and that I can go planing. I'm so tired. After four days of surfing, I'm so tired. But tomorrow we, we, we keep going, right? So see you tomorrow. <laughs> 